Welcome to the diversity tutorial. A broader definition of diversity considers the fact of many different types of things or people being included in something. In biology, biological diversity means the variability among living organisms from all sources including inter alia, terrestrial, marine and other aquatic ecosystems and the ecological complexes of which they are part. This includes diversity within species, between species and of ecosystems. In complex adaptive systems consisting of interacting adaptive entities that produce dynamic patterns and structures. Diversity assumes a fundamental meaning and makes fundamental contribution to system performance. Diversity contributes to complexity and underpins system-level robustness, allowing for multiple responses to external shocks and internal adaptation. Diversity enhances system-level robustness as the ability of the system to maintain functionality in the face of some change or disturbance, which could be internal or external to the system. The nature of the change depends by the system under study. In an ecology, disturbance involves the extinction of old species and invasion of a new one. So robustness refers to the capability of a system to continue to perform in diverse circumstances. Robustness expands on resilience. So how to apply this principle on the urban systems? Diversity requires multitude of what? Variation of some attribute which one? Variation of type. How many? Variation of configuration. How? If diversity has been already pointed out half a century ago by Janet Jacobs as an essential factor for livability, economic growth and the attractiveness of cities, the lack of rigorous and agreement in the definition of what diversity means in different urban areas, as well as how diversity can objectively measure it, still remains. The role of diversity for the economic attractiveness in retail facilities and marketing sectors has been deeply analyzed, but still miss a proper basis able to overpass empirical argument and concept like mixed use. This research, in the frame of integrated modification methodology, considers diversity as an intricacy attribute, which quantifies the level of organization of the urban texture. Diversity is the attribute of cities emerging by self-organized and synchronized states between the basic element of the urban system, structured as type of uses, voids, volumes, links. This work aims to seek to examine and synthesize a new method for mapping and measuring diversity in real urban morphology based on realable metrics. Diversity varies in times through the working day and also in the third dimension. Actually, our view of diversity in a city changes during the 24 hours and a relevant role is played in it by the third dimension. In IMM, the synergic integration of CAS components that follows the order defined by the table shows how elements come to self-organize or to synchronize their states into forming a new specific level of organization. These types of emergence as product of the synergies between basic components ordered as follow make emerging a specific property or pattern named diversity as something new that can be described by the description of the parts. 
The question is whether the diversity can be related to the identification of resilience fragility in a complex system. Actually, diversity contributes to complexity and underpins system-level robustness, allowing for multiple responses to external shocks and internal adaptations. The question now is, how to apply this to urban systems? The purpose of diversity analysis is because by the result we can understand the uneven distribution of key functions in the built environment. Diversity assumes a fundamental meaning and it makes fundamental contribution to system performance. The authors investigate the diversity of urban systems as a concealed level of organization. It emerges by synchronized states between the basic elements of the urban system. The basic elements of the urban system are type of uses, voids, volumes, links. Considering the city as a complex adaptive system, this study aims at highlighting the morphological and typological properties of diversity by introducing a set of six quantitative metrics labeled as number of type of uses, building diversity, concentration of key function, diversity index, coverage of no residential uses, location quotient. Hence, Following the approach used for all the other IMM key categories, we consider that the complexity of urban diversity concept can be better rendered by a set of metrics instead of one single value. In order to investigate diversity, it is crucial to define the key function buildings in the site. First of all, the spaces are dividing according to the use of them, such as the activities listed in the slide. The former represents as activities and public uses as a necessary activity and regular activity, such as educational facilities or some government facility, child care building, hospital, etc. On the other hand, the necessary occasional activities are the ones which the public prefers going when they need, not as a regular activity. For instance, some government facilities such as banks. Lastly, the optional activities are the ones as not strictly restricted, but as a choice of matter. Some religious buildings, such as churches or shopping malls, cafes and restaurants, are the example of it. By considering existing key functions and representing them in scalet colored circles, their number and distribution in each classification are represented, respectively based on necessary activities regular, Necessary activities occasional, optional activities. Following the TOD, Transit Oriented Development definition, we adopt a more precise way in determining comfortable distances to walk from to by defining catchment areas with isochrons. An essential tool for this type of study is the ArcGIS Network Analysis Toolbox that allows to build a network dataset and perform analysis on a network dataset. Moreover, the network analyst allows to measure accessibility in terms of travel time, distance or any other impedance on the network which are therefore more accurate than radial buffers for the purpose of the research. Hence, the analysis consists in the creation of pedestrian isochrons from each necessary regular type of use point, as evaluation of the number of possible optional key function caused by it. Before running the tool, a first operation consists in the creation and discretization of the street network. 
Only then it is possible to select the necessary regular type of uses yellow points as the investigation starting points. Finally, time parameters are calculated in minutes, name in the tool service areas. Hence, following the approach used for the other key categories, we consider that the complexity of urban diversity concept can be better rendered by a set of metrics instead of one single value. This study aims at providing quantitative measures that can pinpoint significant feature of the spatial organization of the urban element in order to characterize the concept of urban diversity. In this study, six spatial assessed of the built environment has been studied and urban diversity is explained through the relationship between them. For the selected case studies, these assessed have been evaluated and presented by means of spectrum diagrams that allow direct comparison of the different metrics, namely respectively as number of type of uses, building diversity, concentration of key functions, diversity index, coverage of no residential functions, location quotient. Urban diversity is being explained through the relationship between them and presented in a hexagonal diagram in which their proportional relationship can be compared and interpreted. Number of type of uses, multifunctionality. It expresses the total amount of type of uses existing in a given area. It is the simplest measure of diversity and a direct count of the number of type of uses activities existing in a given area. Building diversity. It is the ratio between the number of unique buildings, models, and the total number of buildings. It explains how many times a building model has been repeated inside an area. High values for very diverse areas, low values for repetition of standardized typologies. Concentration gravity of type of key uses. Also for this value, estimation is based on the network centrality measure, and in particular, we decided to use the metric that evaluates the gravity index. The gravity index of a node in a graph at a radius walkable distance or 600 meter is based on the intuition that centrality is inversely proportional to the shortest path distance between and each of the other nodes in that are reachable from within a geodesic distance. The index is defined as follow. Diversity index. It expresses the amount of activity has proportion of its maximum and then sum these variables across all activities which exist in each place. An alternative way of measuring diversity index is the indices that are used in the natural science for measuring biodiversity. We could do so grouping type of uses into classes, necessary activities regular, necessary activities occasional, optional activities. This could create a hierarchy of classes of type of uses similar to the hierarchy of species in the biodiversity. Grouping of types of uses could be done using our way of classifying already used. The most common used in this for measuring diversity in ecology cited in OINDO is Sipson Index of Diversity. Coverage of no residential functions. It is the ratio between the total type of uses out of residential in a given area per total floor areas except residential 
over the total building's floor area in a given area. Location quotient. The isolation index measures the extent to which minority members are exposed only to one another and is computed as the minority weighted average of the minority proportion in each area. It measures the concentration or isolation of one group. It shows the chances of member of one group to meet members of its group. Theoretically, values range from almost zero to 100. Finally, we represent the six indicators in a diversity spectrum diagram which is composed of axes that contain the measurement up to a maximum value of 100. This diagram is clear to visualize since it can also be used comparatively between different case studies. The following slides present a case study of diversity investigation in neighborhoods in Milan. Case studies of Milan neighborhood comparison. City Center, Città Studi, Porto di Mare. There are several steps for investigating diversity. Because each step is related to others and the factors within each step are also interrelated, the coordinating between different key categories and especially key functions is necessary. However, we still can list out the sequence of investigating step by step. 1. Horizontal investigation type of uses. 2. Creation and discretization of street network. 3. Identify key function. 4. Mark out each key function on map in considered area, divided in necessary activities regular, necessary activities occasional, optional activities. 5. Draw the determinate catchment area of each necessary activities regular. 6. Necessary activities regular catchment area catching optional activities. 7. Analysis of final drawing by it map. 8. Improve current condition, then conduct retrofitting, redraw the new condition. 9. Analysis of improved condition. 10. Comparison and conclusion. Here you can find some references. This tutorial contributes to the implementation of the following Sustainable Development Goals 11, 7, 9, 3, 13. Thank you for your attention. For more information, visit our website www.imdesignlab.com.